So I'm making a YouTube video after almost one year of break. And the reason for this break is actually I lost interest in making YouTube videos for some time and after that I got really busy with some other things in my life which I'm going to discuss further in this video. And so basically all those combined, honestly I need to be really honest, I need to be very thankful for one thing. Even though I have taken such a long break on YouTube, I still get comments on most of my older YouTube videos and this has actually motivated me in making this video. And this is going to be a life update because a lot of things have happened in my life in this one year and I would like to share those details with you guys. So firstly, and the firstly and the biggest life update is definitely going to be me passing my MD radiology exam and finally getting that MD radiology degree. So as you guys might be knowing, I was a radiology resident back when I was making these YouTube videos and I gave my final exams in May 2023. And the results were announced in June 23 and I passed out the exam so it was one of the biggest exams in my life and would actually be in any postgraduate doctor's life in India because after MBBS you have to go through some of the toughest trainings, toughest exams in the country to get to post-graduation and once you pass post-graduation it's like you have come through a bottleneck of competition and for most part you'll be good to go. Uh, even though if you even though there's another exam called super specialty training if you are into that so anyway md radiology degree is a very big thing in my life and i'm really happy that i was able to pass the exam although i need to confess because i might not have did extremely well in the exam because i did not get a very good score i got a decent score and honestly i didn't prepare that well for the radiology final exams because i'm not a very good student when it comes to theory exams anyway and that trend keeps on continuing in my life ever since my MBA first semester exam and so on and so forth. But anyway, I did get a decent score and the important part is I passed the exam and I got the degree in my hand. So it was good. It was good passing MD radiology. Definitely one of the biggest ticks in my life. So after that, so my MD radiology exam results were announced in June and I had my FRC at two way slot booked for October. So unlike MD radiology exam where I didn't study that much, I studied pretty well for my first year exam because it's a competitive kind of exam and the exam fee is so high that once you pay 1 lakh to write an exam, you better pass the exam. So I did very well in the FRCR final 2 way exam. Actually I got a score of 190 plus whereas the average score of all the other students combined was somewhere in 150s. So I got a very good score actually and I might actually make a video on how to go about the FRCA 2A exam because honestly when I was preparing for this there were not many videos or guidance regarding it on the internet and I felt that if I do well in this exam I should make a video regarding it and help people who are going to appear for this exam in the future. So that might be one video which I will be making in this month. So if you are a radiology resident or if you are someone who is planning to give the FRCR exams, do look out for that video. So that was the second biggest update in my life. Uh, the third one is actually quite interesting because I worked as a junior consultant for a few months after passing out from radiology. So this is actually my first job <laughs> ever since I joined MBBS back in 2014. So after MBBS you do work as an intern, that doesn't qualify as a real job according to me so this what you do after your pg is your real job so i got a good junior consultancy job in hyderabad that is where i used to stay at that time and it was good the respect was good uh, the responsibilities are good and the salary as a fresh passed out radiology consultant is also pretty good actually so i had good time uh, so i worked as junior consultant for three months and then another biggest change happened in my life that is I joined super speciality in intervention radiology. So when I was giving my FRCR exam, I also gave my NEET SS exam even though I was not really preparing for NEET SS, I just gave the exam because it was two weeks ahead of my FRCR exam and I just went to the exam with the same knowledge that I had for the FRCR exam and I got a decent rank in this NEET SS super speciality exam. And I got an intervention radiology seat. So there are about 42 intervention radiology seats. 
super specialty seats in India and I managed to join doctorate in National Board DRNB in Intervention Radiology. So this is another big big update in my life and I will make a video regarding life as an Intervention Radiologist and why I choose to join Intervention Radiology like after giving the exam and my thoughts about it and all in the future video. So again if you are a junior resident or if you are a radiology doctor do watch that video to understand what I went through uh, in making that decision. So that was another big big life update. So the final update is I had to move cities because intervention radiology uh, was not available in my state or in Andhra Pradesh. So as you guys know I am from Telangana and uh, intervention radiology seats are there in only few states. So I had to move cities. Currently I am in Delhi pursuing intervention radiology. So this was a big big change for me because I have never lived outside of my hometown till now and this was a completely new environment for me, new weather, new people, new language, new food and all. So it took few months to get used to it but now I am pretty, comfort pretty comfortable where I am and I am looking forward to my intervention radiology training. So these were the 5 biggest professional updates that have happened in my life ever since I stopped making the YouTube videos. So that's it for this video. If you are someone new or if you are in the path of MBBS or post graduation in India or abroad for that matter uh, and if you think my videos had some value to your life do consider subscribing. So that's it for this video and thank you all guys.